Hello and welcome to Finnish Flies. What we're going to do is a, a pattern that I uh, developed a couple of years ago. Uh, this is a buzzer that uh, we've been messing around with. But what we've done, I've modified this now. Uh, basically what I'm using is a Crystal River Caddy Speed. And what we've done is cut this in half, making it into a cone head. And um, with a bit of luck, uh, this should be on the market in the next couple of months. Uh, the Sakamasan B100 size 12. And the thread that I'm using is a Vibus 16O. Fantastic uh, mater uh, material, tine thread, very strong and very slim. So what we're going to do is just at the back of the bead, we're just going to secure that bead in. And then we're just bringing the thread down to make the body of the buzzer. This is a hemoglobin buzzer. And it's a dark brown, brownish black thread. And we're going to be using the holographic red we're doing the rib on this one here. Very, very effective pattern on majority of the locks that we've been fishing them. So, uh, just gonna end up, just tie that off there. And once we've got that there, we're gonna be using the Vivas holographic tinsel. So, we're gonna catch him in, like such, bringing the thread back down. Once we've got it in there, we're just going to come up and down a few times just to bulk out that body a wee bit. Just gives it a nice wee profile. Down to the bottom. And the final run back up the hook. Catch him in. Just uh, slightly open turns. Just bring the holographic all the way up. You can see the effect that it has on this here. Lock that material in. Turn off the waste. And basically all we're going to do now is just going to end up Building that up level with the bead. Some people will end up using like a Sally Hansen's or varnish to build these up. But what I use, I use a, a material, Deer Creek resin. Very, very effective material. And it does what it says on there, it comes out diamond hard. So once we've got that there to the required bulk, we're just going to end up with finishing this off. And we get the resin. This is the uh, tack free resin that we're going to be using. What I like to do is I like to get the resin and just put it but on the needle and then what we're going to do we're just going to gently maneuver that round the actual pattern itself and what I do is I work myself from the back coming up forwards like such once you've got them all covered up just run it over the bead that just secures in that wee bit extra. Now the interesting part, here we go. Deer Creek laser light. And what we do, we're just gonna zap the fly. Just turning him round. So the light covers all that there. And that's the pattern fully complete there. Dumb and hard, no problem with that whatsoever. As I say, majority of locks it works good, but it definitely does work early season on a lock corrib. So go through there, go Crystal River bead, and we've got the, the Vivas thread and the tinsel. Brilliant materials. Got a few more patterns in the pipeline to using this up. So as I say, we're in Ireland. Happy wrappings.